This is so much faster than that. It was like unbelievably bad. It used to have a reverse kicker on it, which would be a cavitator. And, uh, you know, it's chilly here, cold here. This is probably like December when we're uploading this. And, uh, you know, we're really appreciative to all the people that have been subscribing and watching the videos. And uh, if you just, just looked at one of our videos through browsing through YouTube, just got click on our channel. We got... We got a lot of cool videos that you're not gonna see much quite like it anywhere else. So have a have a scroll through our inventory and uh, just uh, uh, dig through it and enjoy. All right, I'm just gonna run a preliminary time on this, but uh, the impeller is still a little bit screwy, but it's not like it was before. Oh. It used to have a reverse kicker on it, which would be a cavitator. This is the impeller out of the FCR. I just wanted to talk about it real quick before we get going. Any farther in this video, the um, this is much after the video, so this prop has gone through quite a bit. But I wanted to talk about what was wrong with it in the first place. And on this video, it's not completely fixed all the way, and it never does get fixed because the only true fix is a new prop on this thing. But the trailing edge, which is here, was actually bent upward. Uh, something like that um and it was on every single blade of this prop and you can see the scratches underneath the um i don't know how well you can see that on camera but underneath every blade there's scratches underneath which leads me to believe there was a rock stuck in here and it just kept spinning over that rock and bending the blades up so they were bent up a fair ways like probably something like that so that was causing extremely heavy cavitation on this thing. Um, one thing that I did do for this video was I had, you know, bent them um, closer to normal. So, you know, the cavitation was significantly reduced from what it was in the first video where you saw the FCR. Yep. So I got kind of good now. I got rid of the cavitator or reverse kickers and uh, it's okay now. It cavitates still, but it's not like horrendous like it was before. It was like unbelievably bad. And it would like vibrate too, pretty violently. Oh yeah, and how it got the reverse kicker or the cavitator mod on the prop was from a rock going through and getting stuck and then bending the prop all up okay now this is just a preliminary time and I don't think that this counts for the ski it just kind of gives us a ballpark of what it is capable of and it's for, these are this hole is really easy to ride the whole design is very easy intuitive it does exactly what it is that you think it will do. So you can see it captivates a bit. Oh my word, this is so much faster than that. doing that this I was able to just do that corner so that was nice that was good pretty clean solid lap I mean there's time for me to gain personally like driver wise around the turnaround pole but uh, you know maybe half a second or something like that uh, obviously the cavitation was a problem but not like it was before so it's good enough to get kind of a ballpark of where this thing is gonna sit i just wonder if it'll be able to uh, compete with the sea you know and 
the time of me filming this, I have not gone through my footage to get the official lap time out of the Sea-Doo RX-PX. So I'm not even sure where that one sits in the overall grand scheme of lap times. I know it's pretty high up. My, it's either second or first. 